when this whole process started at Mandalay Bay, um, roughly two and a half years ago, um, I was 100% against going union. Two and a half years later, I am 110% pro-union. And I, I really wish we could have done it a long time ago. But this is the future, we're moving forward, and it's uh, full steam ahead from here on out. When I got here, the Central Pension Fund meeting seminar was going on. They invited me in, I sat down, I listened, and that's when I really understood how a 401k savings plan works compared to a pension fund. And when I left that meeting, I said to myself, this is something more to look into. I think this is more beneficial on the pension fund side of the house than the 401k. And that's where I got interested in it. That's when that, that opened up a new door for me. Then once we got back to, once I got back to the property and started making contact with the other people that were on board and we were, they were trying to get the uh, property organized and get more people interested in it, uh, that's when I um, really stepped up and started to help the organizing of it. Uh, came down to as many means as I could for the union so that I could find out exactly what it was that they had us, they had to offer us and took that information as well as the other guys that were here uh, we all took that information back to the property and and spread the word and tried to squelch the rumors about we were going to lose pay or they were going to take these benefits away from us and all of our vacation time so we were just passing on the information to the rest of the people down at the property My, my opinion of the organizers was that they were truthful, honest, and were looking out for the best interests of us as employees at Mandalay Bay. Um, that they had a lot to offer, there was a lot of information out there, there was a lot of misinformation out there that people were spreading and the people at the union were giving us the proper information to help us make the proper decision on organizing. Since becoming a shop steward at Mandalay Bay, um, as well as the other shop stewards that we have over there, we have regular meetings with our management team. Uh, we have one scheduled this Friday, as a matter of fact, at 12 o'clock. We uh, typically try to get one uh, every two to three weeks. Uh, management has told us that if there's anything that needs to be addressed sooner than that, to, to let them know come knocking on their door, set up a meeting, whatever we gotta do. If it's something that we can stop them in the hallway and get something uh, discussed immediately, they don't have a problem with it. Our relationship, our communications with our management team is much better than it was prior to the union being at Mandalay Bay. Well, I tell you, as far as pay goes, one of the, the biggest uh, misconceptions that I was under which kept me hesitant of whether or not I thought the union was beneficial for me was that I was gonna lose four or five dollars an hour uh, most nobody can afford to lose four or five dollars an hour so that's how I looked at it and that's because of course listening to people that thought they knew what was going on but after the negotiations we didn't lose a dime we kept the same pay rate that we got over the four-year contract that we negotiated, we got over $4 an hour. And we decided how much of that $4 an hour we at Mandalay Bay wanted to put into our pension fund. So it was a win-win situation. The process to decide how much we were putting in our pension fund was our decision the men and women that work at Mandalay Bay that are in the engineering department, part of the bargaining unit, it was our decision, our vote, on how much money we were gonna put in it. Nobody told us how much to put in, but uh, we're the ones that made that decision. The local has a training center uh, that is, I'm currently going through the Refrigeration One course. Um, 
and it's fantastic. It's a 17-week course. Uh, it's training that um, I took a number of uh, courses over at the college, over at the community college. Mm -hmm. And I'll just give you an example. Books alone cost me 100 to $120, which isn't too bad. It's the course itself that costs you the money. So on a course like that, which is typically rated at five credits, it would cost me $120 for the books, but it would cost me $300 for the instructor duty, or the instructor's pay. Here at the union, the book that would have cost me 120 cost me 60 bucks, and I don't pay anything other than that, 60 bucks and my time. And that's invaluable. There's the classes and the courses that they offer is, is invaluable for the job that we do. The main reason that I changed my mind um, for being against the union, for, to being pro-union, was the information. The people at the, at the local uh, that gave me the information, that gave me the knowledge, that uh, showed me that the things that were being said were not true. We didn't lose any money. That's the biggest thing that people were afraid of. You're going to lose money. And we didn't lose a dime. When I was, I was part of the, uh, the count, when we did the vote count, the day that they voted, and I got to talking to the lady that was from the National Labor Relations Board, and I asked her in regards to unions and uh, what, why do people vote against a union, or why do they vote for the union? She said one of the main reasons that people vote for unions today is because of the economy. The economy is so volatile. And for people who have lived in this town, I've lived in this town for 22 years. I've been in the casino business for 22 years. And I know it's all about the dollar, the bottom end, the, the, the bean counters as you wanna call them. It's all about how much money can they save, okay? So we lose a few guys in the department. It, it, it could take them six months to a year to hire anybody back. Okay, so you know, the the fear of, well, I don't want to I don't want to organize because they'll have my job. They can't do that. It's against the law, and the union taught us that. The union taught us that we have a right to organize, and we have a right to vote the union in if we want to. And the company, they can do what they want to try to discourage us from doing it, but we have a right to look out for ourselves, and for our welfare. Fear of your job, you know, nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to go into work every single day wondering whether or not the supervisor that doesn't like them or the, or the uh, director that doesn't like them is out to get them, you know. And, and we had that. We had that at Mandalay Bay. We don't have it anymore. If guys have a problem, we tell them, reach out to your shop steward, come to us for your problem. We have an pretty much an open door policy. I mean, managers are busy, directors are busy, but we can schedule meetings with them anytime we feel it's necessary. And we can go in and we can sit down and we can talk to them. And they will address the issues. Yeah. And, and we didn't have that before.